sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the San Francisco 49ers and the Cleveland Browns. set to do the honors here and we are underway from Cleveland returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod and in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line down it's Purdy the first catch of the game for George Kittle and he'll wind up getting this to the 32 a play that started at the 16 and that's how many yards they get first down good job there to locate his tight end Charles in the middle of the field yeah he has good pass catching abilities and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter you can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. They're able to haul it in is Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. Sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Browns are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Time will tell if that's an interception that rattles the rookie here. First drive on the road. And you know the discussion going into the game? Centered on, okay, let's get out nice and easy. Take care of the football. We're on the road. You're a youngster. Let's not make mistakes early. But now the conversation will shift to, okay, put it behind you, move on. Long way to go in this one. On second and 11 now. Watson, slant route, complete to Bell. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Cooper, the man in motion right. They run again on first down, Chubb. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Watson. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Here's Watson. 
Again, it's Cooper. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out, for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's taken care of now. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Purdy looking to throw. And this one is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds. Incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. Cooper will come in motion right. And Chubble tried the middle here. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. As they've got it with a second and ten. Now Watson. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Watson to Njoku there for the Cleveland first. They'll run with Chubb. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the plane, and it'll be second and goal. To throw is Watson. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Browns! Deshaun Watson on target to David Njoku. And the Browns post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Looking to maybe throw for it here, Watson. And he will get in to make it 8-0. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big pickup of 38. So often on these RPOs, we see the ball get from the quarterback to the receiver in what feels like a nanosecond. But on this play, 
He actually cleared coverage downfield a bit before the ball got to him. The net result, though, a considerable gain. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. And the Browns are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he stopped immediately there. Eight nothing our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. Forty Niners have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. Here's Watson. Hard throw incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. as he can following a big gain a nice little cherry on top there at the end so how about this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10 they go up the middle with Chubb and the result here a pickup of eight leaves him with two to go on second down now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next Now they bring a receiver in motion right. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. They didn't need a big play there. They just needed a conversion, but I'm really downplaying it, aren't I? Getting a conversion, picking up a first down, not easy in any aspect. How about that one right there? Yeah, with the dive, knew where the line to gain was, went soaring past it. Yeah, that's doing it by any means necessary. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Brandon, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. Too many things could go wrong in this situation. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. The San Francisco defense trying to hold tough again. This is third and goal. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Amari Cooper in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns will extend their lead here just before halftime. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up 14. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has that the game he expected? But that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Cooper, the man in motion right. They go with Chubb on second down. Uses the stiff arm. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 62 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And again, it's Chubb. And it work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them at it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Farrell Brown, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Browns have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And by rule, that comes out to the 40-yard line, so good opportunity for this offense with solid field position. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. On first down, Purdy completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 34. Here's Purdy on first and 10. They'll get this into the hands of Ayer. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. From the 31, Purdy. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Greg Newsom. The 30. 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns. 